Ruby, are you ready for your Vlogmas treat? Are you ready? It's day 13. It's green today. Ruby, you want your green Vlogmas treat? Oh, enjoy it, baby Sue. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Seeger. You're watching The Seeger Stories in day 13. 13 of Vlogmas. So welcome. So happy to have you here. We are anxiously awaiting the arrival of a couple special guests. I have two dear friends that are coming into town for a couple days. So going to vlog their trip and all of the fun things we have planned today. I think we're going to go out and grab some lunch and then hit up a couple Christmassy shops and then Tonight is what they call the Winter Walk in Northfield, Minnesota. So that is a town that is about an hour south of here. It looks like a Hallmark Christmas movie and literally was the setting for one a few years ago. So once a year they shut down their main street and they just do candlelight and bonfires and carolers and lights and wagon rides and you name it and it is just a totally fun Christmassy experience. So I have been once before but then due to just conflicts that Nate and I had as well as the pandemic haven't been back. So I'm excited that it's back in 2021. We are going to go check it out. First things first, Ruby just got her treat. Let's see what's going on with the old Nespresso calendar and get caffeinated before <laughs> before everybody gets here. So the Nespresso calendar day 13. I'm hoping, as I am every day, that it is not decaf. I don't think I could handle that today. So this is Diavolito. I'm gonna show you, because I'm never saying these Italian names correctly. Ooh, but it looks pretty intense. That looks delicious. Let's give it a try. I have my Santa mug. The coffee is... Mmm. Strong, strong, but good. I am really digging that. So um, I'm going to sit down, enjoy this. Ruby and I are just enjoying a relaxful, peaceful morning before everybody gets here. And I'll check in with you a little later. We just stopped for lunch at Cafe Zupa. I found some friends today. Hi, ladies. Yay. So this place has the most amazing soups and salad. I got the mushroom bisque, which kind of looks disgusting on camera, but it's amazing. And then I got a turkey panini, which I think is a seasonal thing. Can't even get it open, but that looks phenomenal. So excited to dig into that. And then the best part about coming here is that your meal comes with a little chocolate covered strawberry. So it's just such a cute place to eat. We also have here, sorry, I'm gonna film your food ladies tomato basil with a grilled cheese and then they have all of these amazing salads that's a strawberry salad with a southwest potato soup so we are super excited to dig in and have some delicious lunch we finished up lunch and there's a crumble cookie next door so you know we had to all right how do these look for you oh my gosh they look amazing awesome. there you are thank, thank you, you. All right, so we're gonna hang out in the car and have a crumble cookie. We got gingerbread, sugar, mom's recipe, and eggnog. Oh, I'm so excited to try one. All right, I'm trying the eggnog first. Just hanging out in the car, eating a cookie. <laughs> Why not? I wonder what mom's recipe is. Oh, that one's still warm. Mm, this one was warm. The eggnog was cold, which I suppose is a good thing. So we are enjoying a cookie and just formulating our next move. I think we're going to find some fun shops to hit up and do a little bit of Christmas shopping. The absolute best place to go to find things for unique Christmas decor is Bachman's Nursery. They have several locations throughout the Twin Cities, but their Minneapolis location is just ginormous. It is huge, it has everything.
guys, this store is absolutely amazing. Like, the retail just is one small part of it, shopping all the little Christmas knickknacks and whatnot, because you get to this whole separate area and they have living rooms and kitchens and front porches and everything decorated for the holidays to give you ideas. And we were definitely getting all the cozy Christmas vibes. Just in love with this. field for the winter walk yay <laughs> so parking was a bit of a challenge it's pretty busy down here but we're in Northfield Minnesota and they just have all the businesses handing out some freebies or have things for sale like yummy food and snacks and treats and should be pretty fun and come along with us oh my gosh they are literally roasting chestnuts on an open fire Right here? Yeah. Probably like 400-ish right in that little... 
you can like sit there. Uh, 10, 15 minutes, but it really depends upon the fire. It changes over time. I need someone to chop more for me, but uh, if I can keep it fueled, 15 minutes for the big ones. Hi! Yeah, how much are they? Oh, they are. Oh, yeah, we'd love to try some. No, we're together. Okay. Is it right if you share a bag? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just wanted to try them. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. You got to peel them back. So they're scored on the top, right? See that darker shell? That comes off. The inside is the chestnut. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I'm excited. You ready to try a chestnut? Okay, here. <laughs> okay, so we have to peel them. I'm gonna need. They're warm. They are. They were just roasted on an open fire. In fact. This wouldn't be as hard if the basket was made out of ice. I mean, it feels like. I just dropped my chestnut. She gave us She knew I was gonna do that. She knew I was gonna drop it. Is it good? I can't oh, the puppies don't like the horsies apparently. Oh, what's that taste? It tastes more like um. The texture is like a sweet, like a bean yeah. almost. Oh, I. This sounds weird, but I don't. I don't hate the aftertaste of it. Yeah, the aftertaste, <laughs> it gets better. But the texture was different. I didn't love the texture. Yeah, it's like wet nut. <laughs> We finished up at the Winter Walk, which was super fun. We felt like we checked some 
definite things off our holiday bucket list. We were able to go on a horse-drawn carriage ride. We literally ate chestnuts that were roasted on an open fire. It was just such a fun event and so cute to be in their little town and exploring some of the shops. And all of the restaurants were completely booked. So we headed back towards St. Paul and we are now at Buca de Peppo, which is a family style Italian restaurant to enjoy some delicious food, which we are so excited about because it's like 8.30, almost nine o'clock and definitely time for us to have dinner. They just brought some bread to the table, which looks amazing. Should have filmed me ripping it. <laughs> so we just, they bring out bread and olive oil. We've got a salad and garlic toast and baked ziti coming and it looks, how's the bread? It's good. Good. I'm excited. I'm so hungry. We were so hungry that I just totally dug in without even taking a picture of the pretty salad. So Buka, if you're not familiar, is family style. So they bring out everything for the group to share. We got a garden salad with our waiter recommended putting gorgonzola cheese on it. And I can't remember what else. Bruschetta. Bruschetta, okay. It's Bruschetta. really good. No, prosciutto. Prosciutto, prosciutto. okay. Go. Prosciutto and gorgonzola was added. So that's really good. And then we ordered garlic bread. This is a small. So you definitely need to come here either with a huge group of people or very hungry. So we are definitely in the latter camp. So I am just winning at life today and forgot to film this as it came out. It was a lot prettier, you guys, I promise. But we had the baked ziti and they have these huge dollops of ricotta cheese on top. And there is a lot of food left over that we couldn't eat. But it was absolutely delicious and we are ready to go home and get in our comfy cozy clothes and just relax from a very fun evening. Oh, we are back home finally <laughs> in our comfy clothes having a little mocktail here. Um, this is the grenadine and ginger beer recipe that I shared on my channel. I think it was yesterday. The days are just flying by. I can hardly believe it. So we had such a fun day, such a good night, delicious food at Buka. We had a little bit of an adventure. I typed in the address. Well, I thought I typed in our address into my GPS and I just got the house number in and I select the first one that came up and uh, we drove all the way over to Minneapolis. So it took a little longer than usual to get home, uh, but we got home just in, in time to join Nate for the end of the Vikings game. And now we're just sitting around visiting, enjoying a beverage and sitting by the fire and it is so nice and cozy. But I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you would be so kind and click that like and subscribe button below, I would really appreciate it. Happy Vlogmas, everybody, and cheers. I'll see you tomorrow.